So today we are working on our lounge area. So if you haven't already, I think I did a video on the layout that I'm doing, which is gonna allow us to have more of a lounge space in a shorter van. So we have the swivel seat here that swivels backwards so that you have seating here. And I did that when a friend of mine came to visit so that we could take the van on a trip. And I'll insert that footage for you right here. So I ordered the swivel seat and I have it pretty much getting ready to be mounted. And I just kind of wanted to mention a couple of things. I bought this off of eBay and the way that it is cut is it fits several different years of the sprinter. So on this particular sprinter, it has three holes. And so it'll go in these holes. And then on the other ones, like as I said, it has several different types. So it came with six bolts and plenty of washers. So I'm gonna um, use the new washers instead of the old ones. And then these bolts will go on top to attach the seat to the swivel. And then these are the original bolts for the seat. Oh, no, 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 don't be taking those boots. Don't be taking those. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How cool is that going to be? How much? on this one put the chair in. And then we'll just have to tighten that. Now, the rest of our lounge area is going to be this Ford Transit seat, which will allow for more seating and also allow for us to have an actual real and safe seat for our daughter when we are traveling with her. So she has a place for her car seat. But the issue we're running into is you have to place it on these brackets down here and we wanna move the seat further over this way, so we're gonna to have to cut down the bracket that goes on this side. That's where Isaac comes in. Captain Sketch a lot. Whenever you need sketchy stuff done, you get you a sketchy Filipino and sketchy stuff happens. You know so we're gonna cut down that bracket using a grinder, and as you can see, he is prepared. Sketchy Filipinos. So let's go let's do that. Go. Sketchy Filipinos, let's go. Once that's done, then we can figure out the placement. We're going to drill the holes so that we can bolt the brackets down and then we can attach the seat and we'll have seating and the lounge area will be complete. All right, you ready? I don't know how much of that I was filming. What? <laughs> but it's done. So, I think the plan is we will go mark our holes. Uh huh. Drill our holes. Mark our holes and start drilling. Uh, you'll put a little paint on there. I wouldn't put it on right now. Okay, but this is what we will use. Okay. You're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna get 
floor. So yeah. we want to mark the holes first. Okay. And then, well, one of us is, well, I can drill it. We just want to make sure we don't drill into your frame, bro. Yeah. That's the trick. So I think we're going to take a little bit of extra precaution, which is not traditional Filipino. And uh, mark it out. I had some tape in there. The fat tape, though. This one. Okay. So, where's that line? It's about right here. So well, that's where the um, frame is at. And then it's another five inches, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is... One frame. That's no man's land. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much... Or what we gotta work around. Exactly. So it's going to go this way. Cool. Close. Yeah, so as long as we were here and about here. Perfect. That should be solid. So Come on. how does that look? Straight wise. Looks straight to me. Does it look straight to you? Okay, so we marked these where they're gonna sit. So Isaac's gonna pre drill those holes. He's gonna do a, a pilot hole just to make sure that we're not gonna hit anything. And then while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get some paint on that bare metal and sit, sit it out in the sun, let it get drying so that once it's ready to go in, we can put it in. I lied, we're gonna do the pilot holes together. So I'm gonna get underneath, make sure that he's not hitting anything and he's gonna uh, be on top going through the floor. So let's get down there. Ready? Yep. Are you doing this? Okay. I can hear Ember saying I love you. Yeah, you're good, go. Plenty of room. Look at us doing math, bro. All right, over here. <laughs> Go. Plenty of room. Just doing math, dude. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, go. Other side. Yep, you're golden. You're not doing math, bro. Wow. Who said a Filipino can't go to math class? <laughs> ah. Okay. Okay, so before you go drilling holes, you want to make sure that your bit is the right size for your bolt. So, a little, a little sketchy. Normally, you'd use a piece of plywood or something. We had no plywood, just a piece of flooring. And Isaac thinks it's a little tight, so he's looking for something a little bit bigger, like a one size bigger than this one that we have, which is the biggest one. Which, if that's the only one you have, that should work since you've done it before, right? Well, I had other drill bit sets. So we don't have a bigger bit, but we have a hole saw that's slightly bigger. So we're gonna test that out and see if that works because right oh. now, It'll, the whole saw will have a guide and it'll be the correct, get into the correct hole. Uh -huh. So if we're going to do it, we need to decide that before we okay. drill through a different, with a different thing, so. Oh, that's, that's too much. 
Too much? That's a little. So what are you gonna do? And that's the smallest one we have? Um, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a lot. That's <laughs> it. And this is wood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's like the metal might not stretch. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of that was my question is if he did that. It gives it some little wiggle room. We just I think we just send it and then I'll give it a little Filipino wiggle. A little Filipino wiggle? What you think? You down? Yeah. Here we go. stuff we just bought from Home Depot is in there on that table. Uh oh, where's the uh... I need a mallet. I'll grab it. Pray to the gambling gods that Filipino math adds up. You know what I mean? Lift up, push in. Okay. Okay, it's looking good so far. Look at that. Wow. Well, you know, that's what happens when you got Filipinos in the game. <laughs> Filipino math, bro. Don't ever discount it. You know what I'm saying? What do you need? Um, I'm thinking we should pull those bolts back out. Probably give you the mallet. Or here, I'll just push them up a little. Give me the mallet. I'll probably want a mask. Actually, you should pull those bolts out and then put a little tape over those holes and then give me some black. Spray paint? Spray paint. So... What we're gonna do is Isaac's putting gloves on. He's gonna put some Sika Flex down on these bolts, and then we're gonna put the bolts in. I'm gonna hold it from the top while he goes underneath and tightens it really tight, and then we will have a seat. And we'll be able to unclip this seat and take it out, and then put it back in if I don't want it in there. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get to it. So obviously I was inside the van and Isaac got underneath the van and I was tightening from the top and he was holding the bolts on the bottom so that they didn't move so that we could get it really, really tight. This is a proper seat because I will be traveling with my daughter a lot of the times and she needs a proper seat for her car seat. So in order for me to make that happen, I came up with this floor plan to make it open but to where she still has an actual seat instead of building like a bench seat like you often see in vans or what we've done before. The seat is officially in. I think it's solid. Oh yeah. Dang bro, got a seat now. Look at you. Good thing you know some sketchy Filipinos. Wow. So I am in the front seat, which is a part of the lounge. Isaac's in that seat, which is a part of the lounge. He can buckle up. Ember can Ember's car seat can go in the middle, the safest place in the van, dead center. And then we can move on to the kitchen, the bed frame, all kinds of stuff. So now it's a four-seater. Now it's a four-seater. Now, I officially have a mom van.
my lounge. So that is the lounge area in the van. I'm really happy with how much space we end up with right here. So there's like plenty of playroom and stuff. And then we'll have the kitchen's going to come out 18 inches. So it'll feel very open and that's really what I wanted. So I hope this was helpful. If you were here to learn something, I hope you did. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any future build videos. This van is coming together very quickly. And uh, next we're gonna do some wiring and the walls are gonna be going up with electrical and solar. It's, uh, it's happening. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.